guys so here we have the home screen set up right now it's the default Samsung one UI user interface and it's uh, quite likable as well I really love the Samsung one UI user interface it's slick it's fast and you can pretty much customize the way you like and there are plenty of features to go with it as well but hey this is Android right and we love to customize every now and then and that's what I do and the first launcher we need to have is the Nova 7s yes, it's the favorite launcher of everyone right because it has got so many things to customize of course there are other launchers that I love which I'm going to make other videos as well so make sure you are subscribed if you are new to my channel so let's go ahead and take a look at the home screen setup and we will transform this one now guys this is really easy and very very quickly you can do it and attend the home screen that i showed you just now that you are here for this video so let's go ahead and do it right so the first thing you want to do is to install the nova 7 prime so this is the prime version that i'm using so make sure you buy the nova 7 prime so you can use the free version as well but this one is nova 7 prime just go ahead and tap on this one and once you have installed fresh this is the look that you are going to get it asks for basic customization as soon as you open the nova 7 prime launcher so this is where you can change it quickly but we will leave it to default as it is and just tap on that tick mark and whenever you tap the nova 7 here we are here we are with the nova 7 launcher so this is the default launcher that you get as you can see it's pretty fast as well and right now we should start customizing it right so first thing you want to do is to remove all these icons so we will clear the home screen completely sure there are other ways to do this one fast as well with the nova settings but hey i'm just showing you to remove it quickly this way <laughs> so we will do it this way the traditional old way yes already as you can see there is pretty much nothing over here um, and if you are seeing the notification bar we need to remove the notification and this gesture button as well which i'm going to show you right now so it's already pretty clear so let's go ahead and tap on this nova launcher and we will actually remove this one as well so tap and hold and you will find the settings over here just go to the settings so the first thing you want to do is to go to home screen and change the desktop grid to 12 by 12 subgrid positioning make sure you have checked this one as well and then tap on done now here icon layout we will disable the label completely because we know what icons we are trying to use right so once i have changed the icon label then padding remains none by none and here is the dock where you want to remove the dock as well we don't want any dock or any icons right over there because we are customizing pretty much everything so we are removing it and this one corner radius make sure it's to 16 dp or let's say keep it to 14 dp again it's your preference so this is important here search bar placement where you want to place the search bar placement we will make it to widget and not the dock and go to search bar style so this is where the fun begins now make sure you have kept it to wireframe and then remove the shadow and change the corner radius to say 58 percent so bar color whatever this color may be because we are going to make it transparent so it will make that bar eliminate completely as though if there is no bar because we have enabled the transparency and we will keep the monochrome mode so if we want to go it grayscale okay right now you can't see this one because of the wallpaper so we'll go ahead and change the wallpaper quickly so before that weather widget yes go to settings here and auto location or you can just go ahead and name your location so do it accordingly as per your liking and there is date that i would like to keep and we have the weather one so again we'll keep that to minimal so let me take back and this is the basic the first thing that we do let's go ahead and quickly change the wallpaper right so tap on this one go to wallpaper now there are so many uh, wallpaper applications but the personal that i love is wally 4k wall i 4k so this is where i find my wallpapers usually so go to collection here 4k wallpapers so inside 4k wallpaper you will find it very quickly here so boom there you go this is the wallpaper that we are going to keep it right now eclipse night so this is what we use just tap on set set to home screen so it will download and set as wallpaper and boom as you can see i have not removed the notification bar yet right so we have to bring the search bar widget here so let's go to widgets and find the search bar so this is the nova search bar that we are going to keep tap and hold and bring it in here and then 
tap and hold and go to again nova settings we will quickly remove the notification bar completely so inside look and feel here we have the notification so show notification bar just turn this thing off and if we go back boom there you have the clean layout so this is what i love about this nova customization completely removes everything and here we are with the setting that we would like to keep so the next one quickly we'll move on with adding the icons right over here and before that there's one widget to add which is kwgt yes it's the favorite of everyone so let's go ahead and find the kwgt which is custom widget this is what you want to install from play store which i'll leave a link in the description you can check that and install it as well so we will go with the one by one or four by one whatever you like you can always customize this one by resizing it tap on this to customize and here by default there are plenty of uh, icons just as you can see scroll down all the way and here you see cut so just tap on this one and make sure we are adjusting it with the size here in the layer so make sure it fills the gap properly friday 13th you can always change it like minutely this way yep so then tap on save and take back and boom here we have the day and the time so i'll keep it to the corner here so this is where i get the day and time and here i have quick search bar here we have the weather widget and there is voice search here as well so right now if you want to access notification you just swipe down to get the notification if you want to go app drawer just swipe up to find the app drawer again let's go ahead and start adding the icons so personally i love this icon pack which is called viral so we'll go ahead and install the viral icon pack as you will see so this is the viral app so there are plenty of icons that you will love here so there are wallpapers as well so this is the icon pack we are going to use if you go here there are icon request icons and you can pretty much apply right from here let's find the apps now let's start arranging the apps the first one is call app so we will go ahead and bring the call app so here's the phone okay i'll leave it there and this is where fun begins just tap and hold on this one edit and change the icon so here we have the viral icon here you'll find tons of different icons you can quickly tap on this one which opens the app and quickly search for call apps or save phone so whichever you want you can use let me keep this one yes after you have select reshape then tap on done so here you have just as i press this one it quickly opens the application so let me add the gallery icon so here's the gallery app so I'll leave it to corner so here's the gallery app just tap on edit and we will change the gallery icon again you can use the minty free candy icons viral or any icon packs that you love so i personally use the viral a lot so let me go ahead and tap on gallery or photos and again as you can see here you'll find plenty of cool looking icons let's go ahead and select this one and i'll tap on done so this is the gallery icon app so if you want to use other icon so you can just tap here and just go to candy icons or say minty free there are some cool looking icons right over here so just tap on this one and find gallery there you go this is the one i have used so don't say reshape so again we have the call we have the gallery let's go ahead and add the whatsapp icon so if you're using dual whatsapp you can keep that as well so let's go ahead and edit this icon there you go again there are plenty of cool looking icons that you can select from so we'll go ahead and keep this one here's the whatsapp icon then we have the social media apps like facebook instagram so this is how you keep arranging everything that you want on the home screen so whichever icons whichever apps you use frequently you can just go ahead and start keeping that again tap on edit so facebook really nice looking icons right over here so let me go ahead and tap on this one and remove reshape and here you have the facebook so we'll get the instagram app so if you want to make folders for a quick access you can just do that as well let's say if you want to organize shopping apps let's go ahead and show you the shopping app how do i arrange it so we'll take amazon and leave it here and i'll also bring another shopping app let's say flipkart so let's go ahead and bring it here so i'll put it inside this to create a folder 
Now tap on this one, tap on edit, change the icon to whichever you like. Again, going to viral here. So let's say we have the shopping. Let's go ahead and type shop. So these are the icons I get here. So let's uh, go ahead and choose this one. Okay, here we have this icon. Just tap on done and I'll arrange this one properly. Boom, there you go. So it's pretty easy. As you can see, the home screen setup is already ready. So we have nothing but the most used apps arranged here. So I can access my mobile phone very quickly and access the apps real quick as well. So it's clutter free, minimalistic and yet aesthetically, I think it's very pleasing. So if I just tap on shopping here, I get the shopping apps which I can open, which you can customize the Amazon's icon right over here itself. So you can do that as well. Again, a little trick over there to completely customize and make it feel the way you want. So this is how I arranged the home screen setup. Hope you like this one, guys. Hit that like button if you want these kind of videos. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And you do customize and let me know on my Facebook page or Instagram. So give it a like and follow there as well. So this was a really minimalistic, easy to make home screen. And that's it in this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you all in another one. Until then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.